Hello guys, it's me Mixer and in this video I want to show you what you can do to make this build more tanky and what you need to prepare to swap from this budget version to a regular version. So the first and easiest thing you can do to make this build tanky is take this soul of Garuhan. This is kind of mandatory because if you step on a shocked ground it will increase the damage you do to yourself and you will die if not instantly really fast and the second thing is if you roll a map with less life recovery you will die from corrupted blood so if you don't have a jewel that that give you corrupted blood immunity this is what you can do upgrade the soul of arakali and for like and other thing you can do is get spell suppression this will help you a lot to survive those spells and also I swap auras I put grace so I can evade some of the attacks because in this build we cannot have the armor so the only thing we can the only thing we can do is evade attacks so with gray only with grace I have 67% chance to evade attacks and 100% chance to suppress spells so how do i achieve this i swap places with my timeless jewel so i can take this node mage band which will with uh, which gives me spell suppression per 15 percent of dexterity and also we need the traitor so we swap places here uh, because there are a few as you can see spell suppression nodes around so we can cap this spell suppression easily this way and also with watcher's eye spell suppression while affected by grace also help to cap this spell suppression what you can do here i have forbidden flame that allocates dead eye but what you can do is get the node that will give you uh where it is let's see you can get the node that will give you uh this rider so you get 20 percent spell suppression this way i think that two of those jewels combined are around four divines if you want to spend your money on defense go ahead this is like easy way to cap the spell suppression with those and also if you take the rider forbidden flame and flash you can undo these nodes here that give you frenzy charge because rider here do the same thing you get frenzy charge when you hit a rare or unique enemy so you kind of get dps and defense at the same time so that's what you can do to make this build more tanky if you need it so the next thing i want to talk about is the upgrades what you can do the first thing is you can put the address ring and this ring will give you extra curse so here i put frostbite and in items this is the pob where we left off last time if you swap to the address as you can see down here we get almost 2 million dps for free so if you like lack dps this is what you can do like for free so the next thing you want to do on a budget version and also this that will go for a regular version of war loop is get four flask and keep all the flask uptime at least 100 percent minimum so here we have three flasks and if we let's say add this one so you what you can do is hold control c on an item and here in add items click this shared items and control v to pass an item and add it to the build so here we have four flasks as you can see here we have 50 seven percent minimum so this is kind of bad because you will die in a 
long boss fights so what you can do is you can upgrade your belt to find some belt that will have reduced flash charge use and increase flask effect duration so if i control c on my item and put it in a pob and add to a build as you can see here we have 57 percent minimum and when i swap we have 74 so you can find your end game belt for a regular for this budget version also will work so you don't have to swap belts for an extra flask and do flask up uptime and the next thing you can do is change your medium clusters that will give you flask effect duration so you can find one or two that will that will you use in a regular version of warloop so in my build i use something like this and this is not perfect so i got these jewels from day two or three i don't know so i use them i don't change the build i you know i use what i got but you can buy something like this that will have two percent flash charge gains 20 percent increased effect and fasting so you also in this trade site you have this copy item button and when you click it item text copy so here in pob also click on share items and control v to add this item to a build so as you can see we have 74 percent average i mean minimum minimum flask uptime and if you click right click on this uh, cluster and change to the new one you get it will not take the whole wheel so because this is four nodes so if you take the whole wheel here as you can see we have 77 percent so we didn't get much but if you let's say do this for other one you will have 93 percent so this is perfect for your end game build so th this is what you can do for your budget version also that will be good for the uh, end game so the next thing you want to do and this is in your this is to prepare items you want to get your gems it's anomalous summon skeletons and anomalous minion speed and also uh, corrupted gems that you will use socket in your body armor so to get uh, anomalous summon skeletons you need at least three quality and gem level 11 because on a gem level 10 you will summon two skeletons and on gem level 11 you will summon three skeletons so we need at least gem level 11 as you can see requires level 45 so here i have custom damage taken on level 5 that will support gems level 46 or lower so in this combination you only need custom damage taking level 5 so you can prepare level these gems to a certain level and also you need anomalous minion speed this gem level doesn't matter only what matters here is quality we need 20 quality so those are the gems you want to prepare and also you want to corrupt and prepare all your gems for a body armor swap here i have uh, this body armor searched all all uh, nodes that will break your build so you can just copy paste this search link and find the body armor you want with the right colors and as you can see it's 12 divines but here i got a cheaper one with uh, one red and two greens it's for 2.8 divines so instead of empower 
you put a vacant added cold damage because this gem also increased support as you can see gem levels support of cold skill gems and it's 65 device for level 5 corrupted 65 chaos so these two if you want to swap right away you need 3 point I don't know 3 point, 3 .1 divine and also as you can see here if you copy this item into your POB so what you want to do is you want in a, some stash tab you know like prepare your items and uh, build your character in a POB so you can play the game while getting currency and items and once you get everything ready in a POB you just swap items and you can uh, continue playing right away so you don't have like this time of delay when you are like buying items and you cannot play your build because you need certain items gems or whatever to play it so this is the best way to build your world loop build in a POB that this is what how I do it in a league star scenario so here we get uh, sorry, I'm kind of uh, I catch a cold, but I hope you can understand what I'm saying. So here in uh, searching, you want to copy your item and import it into your build and swap with this body armor. As you can see here, you want at least one thousand and sixty wire. 1060 so you don't take damage from your forbidden right so at least as you can see with this build we don't have uh, boots that have wired so what you can do is grab some boots and roll it here with defense more so I don't have it but you can roll it with more defense this way or you can use something like fossils and roll with this dense fossils that give you more defense so here we have war also you want to increase the quality so you can get as much ward as you want so we have 280 ward so control c the boots and import it into a build and when you swap your boots with the new one as you can see we are almost there we need like 70 more wards so if you get boots with uh, 313 wards so let's see where are the boots sorry and when you swap your boots as you can see we get more ward so you want at least 1060 wards ward to have on your build and also you need uh, the two of these jewels where are they yeah to dust jewels that have combined 34 reduced skeleton duration as you can see i have 19 and 15 that is combined of 34 so and uh also this is that's uh, one of the things you want to prepare and uh, you want to craft uh, on your boots cooldown recovery rate so you want nine cooldown recovery or here i have seven on my boots and two on my uh, abyss jewel here that's seven that's seven plus two nine combined so you want nine combined cooldown recovery rate so and also when you swap to your second uh, hardbound loop running in a pob you will not uh, here you will not have your resistance up capped so you want to like craft your items whatever wherever you can to cap your resistance so yeah and also with flask i forgot to say with flask uptime you can find jewels like this that have 10 percent increased flask effect duration 
this will also help but I don't know how expensive these things are with at least you know one crit multi or whatever with two crit multi as you can see for the lines so I grabbed this one for like 15 kills on the league start but yeah now economy is messed up so and yeah uh, when you go to a defense build also you will undo all these points here and what you can do is get uh, here the impossible escape with hex master so you can take some of the damage nodes that will help a lot with this build i mean if you go if you want to go to the defensive version and this hex master as you can see it's one divine so it's not that expensive but you get a lot of dps this way you can also take something like this so yeah i guess uh, i explained everything and yeah uh, when you when you want to swap to a skin of the lords you want level 19 casting damage taken and what you can do is uh, sorry what you can do if you have something like this with level 20 you can take one or orb of scouring and sell it to the vendor and it will reduce the level of that gem so yeah that's one tip for you guys and thank you everyone for watching and have a great one goodbye